Have you ever wondered how it would be to make a team with a designer? In the competition with the big companies that have their own designers, you could not worry about computer skills, you could save time with your sketches, you could not worry about your uh, hand drawing talent, especially when it comes about curve line that sometimes seems so impossible to draw. Plus, you will have more happy clients because you will offer them beautiful, functional, trendy projects. Hi everyone, I'm Mihala Constantinescu Roma and I am your designer. Welcome to my workshop. Today, we will talk about our first project together, about getting triple rewarding and about working with passion on something that we really love. For the ones who don't know me yet, I invite you to check out my uh, three websites that I put the link below. Uh, Mihaela, Miki, Michelin, uh, Mia, there are all my names or uh, my nicknames that uh, I have received uh, in different stages of my work or from different person that I know. So don't let yourself confused. It's always the same person, the same me. So life blessed me with a lot of opportunities. Why wouldn't I try them all? Fashion design, graphic design, um, landscape design, interior design, product design, uh, teaching art and creativity to children. So one of my biggest passion is working with and for children. The reward is triple. You make them happy, you make their parents happy, and you can make at the same time good money. A while ago, a friend of mine, which is a skilled craftsman, told me about his problem of not having so cool ideas. And even some idea was passing through his mind, it was very difficult for him to put it into practice because of his lack of talent to draw. So we decided to work together, me doing the project and him doing the work. Then I heard the same thing again of one of my neighbors. He confessed me that it would be fun if he has some new project, some new cool idea with uh, dimensions, proportions, as well as the pattern for the same curve line. I knew what I had to do. I had to make team with craftsmen that love their work as much as I do mine. Together, we will make a good team. I have a plan that comes in three steps. First step, you will buy my project, usually for a very fair price, from $20 to $50, depending on the complexity of the project. It's a good price, maybe with that money you could buy a, a blade for a saw or a trim bit for your router. Step two, making the finished project. I must mention that once you purchased my project, you have the right to produce it as many times as you like. In fact, I challenge you, do as many projects as you can. Three, sell your project. Are you a craftsman or are you doing this for hobby? Do you have your own company? Or maybe it's time to start one. Come on, take a leap of faith. Maybe it's time to win your money working with passion on something that you really love. You can start with this very first project for just $20. It's a fair price, right? Like I promised to you. You can sell your products online. You can sell them on Pinterest, on YouTube, on your own blog, or uh, you can ask even your uh, local store. There are so many possibilities. Done! Do you want to start right now? Let me then present you my first project, the scooter toy. A toy in the storage space that could be transformed later in a decorative furniture accessory. A pleasant memory to surround us. Imagine the kids dragging after them from one corner to another, their books and their favorite toys. A retro chic aspect is given by this elegant saddle in shiny leather, and some hand painting or some stickers can bring more personality to the project. A bottle with water has its own place closer to the headlamp, which could softly light the room over the night. The tablet or the iPhone can find their place also. And watch out, the saddle has a secret hideout for things they should be kept away from everyone's sight. 
some goodies,、uh, maybe some favorite toys, or a mirror with some makeups. Children are so creative in giving use to their toys. Doesn't this make of this toy a very friendly companion? You will receive the instructions how to download the project right away. A file for the patterns is provided in two formats: one for your home printer, and one in a special format for a CNC router. In case you have access to one, just handle the file to the router operator, and he will give you the pieces. Neatly cut right away. You will also receive a manual, very explanatory of the whole assembling, and you will find all the dimensions for all the regular pieces. Don't go yet. If you want to see how this project has been done, stay a little longer in my workshop. Like my video. Share it and subscribe it so you can get noticed about my future projects. Until next. For those who don't have access to a CNC router, don't worry. You will work your patterns manually. Print the PDF patterns and cut out the squares, seven inch by seven. Pay attention when you print these files. Use this option actual size. This way, your printing drawings will keep the scale one to one. On a thin board. Glue all the squares following the map from the first page on the PDF patterns. Use an ordinary glue like the one from the kids' school. Cut the patterns apart with a circular saw, first in big pieces, then cut them again, as close as you can from the contour with a jigsaw. Clamp the pieces on the working table in order to prevent them from moving or vibrating. Don't worry if the cut is not perfect. You can use a sandpaper until they will come out clean shape. When you cut the real pieces for the toy from 5/8 thickness board, you should draw the outline with the pen following this pattern shape, and then use the jigsaw to cut out again as closer as you can. Place the pattern over the real shape. Fix it with the screws and finish the shape with the router. After unscrewing the pattern. The shape of the real pieces would be identical. You can use this pattern to obtain identical pieces as many as you want. I attach my router upside down under the working table. This was an old but a strong structure office desk. The hole for the wires became very useful, and I connected the vacuum cleaner also. My workshop is very small in size, and it's actually the shed from my yard. So I covered the walls with nylon foil, and I must say this vacuum cleaner saved me from a lot of dust. What you are watching right now is the side part of the scooter toy.
The three-quarter diameter hole for the handlebar was made with a three-quarter router bit on the pattern and I used a one-quarter router bit with a bearing to follow it. The groove on the side is the only provocation for the ones who doesn't use a CNC router. If you have the right tools, it's perfect, but I have to use only my free hands and my patience. I have very little experience with that router and I'm confident that if I could do it, you will do it also. Here, I try to improvise. I prepared a ruler with a mark at each quarter of an inch. I put some heavy boards on the table in order to lose some height of the saw blade. In this way I was able to cut deep but not complete into the front part of the scooter toy. I advise you to moisture the board with some water before the bending, preventing it from cracking. Now I am working on the four rods that support the base. I use as a pattern a random left overboard with an angle. This way all the rods will look similar. I marked the location of the dowels on both pieces, then I made a 3 8 deep hole with a 3 8 diameter on each mark.
here I'm cutting out a profile a half inch diameter rapid router and with a height between one quarter and three eighths When you will assemble the toy, the front part go underneath this profile, like this. Now you see the small pieces of the headlamp already assembled. The screw are leveled with the surface. When mount the casters under the wagon, go with the bottom board 5 8 deep relative to the side and assure yourself that the casters are spinning 360 degrees without touching the sides. It's necessary to drill smaller holes for each screw before assembling because the MDF boards crack very easy. Make bevels for each head screw and sand carefully the corners and the edges until you obtain a soft round aspect. I used a 220 granulation sandpaper for the first coat, which was the primer. Then I used the 320 between the coats. I left intentionally the headlamp without primer, so I can check the power of the spray paint. It worked well. I found a nice dark gold letter and I glue it on the front part. This caused me a bigger thickness for the part, but it helped me a lot because I enlarged the grooves how you can remember when I send them. I use chalk paint because uh, the finish is matte and um, I also use a clear matte um, spray uh, varnish. I want to show you something. I guess you already saw in a tutorial. It's um, 
the front part uh, of the toy. This is uh, covered in leather. Uh, I love that leather. I found it um, on our store because I love this so much. I couldn't help it, and uh, I use that uh, leather to the saddle also. Even I have to recognize I uh, painted uh, before, but uh, then I changed my mind. I um, I made another um, uh, another piece uh, for uh, for the saddle. This time is thinner, with a quarter of inch. I painted on uh, a side. The other side it's not painted, only the edges. So uh, now we will have this one, and I love it. This uh, original saddle, the old one, it will be actually like a cushion, right? So uh, after all this experience, I have to say I am uh, so glad that um, I uh, decided to uh, do the, my own prototype for uh, my project. It was a good experience, an impressive one I can say because I, uh, I uh, learned myself <laughs> how, to, how to use the blade, the circular blade and also the router. Uh, it was fun, it was uh, not uh, easy, but not uh, difficult also. Okay, sorry guys for my language, I know uh, my English is not perfect, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm trying to do my best and uh, to explain you as, um, as good as I can uh, all that I have done here. So, um, okay, let's, uh, let's start assembling these uh, pieces together and uh, see uh, what I have done. For the headlamp, I found this spotlight, auto adhesive, which I painted the same color with the toy. And some more details and the job is done. Don't forget to subscribe both on my channel and my website www.bowprojects.ca or www.bowprojects.com Another beautiful outstanding project will come and so the promotions. Go for it partner, use my patterns, get in this business with me, be part of the team.